Hey everyone. Um, hello, hello, how are you? I am I am doing well. It has been a crazy few days here, and so this video, today is Saturday, it is getting out way later than usual. I don't even have a cup of coffee in front of me. Not that I haven't had some. Um, energy is way ramped up, lots of stuff going on, and some uh, energetic and spirit entity stuff I had to deal with earlier today and last night. Um, well, I didn't have to, but yeah, I actually kind of had to. So, um, I'm going to get to it though, because this is about you guys. And thank you so much for being here. Um, I, I can't thank you enough for being you. So my name is Holly. I'm a psychic medium and, um, whew, lots of spirit activity going on y'all. Um, anyway, so, uh, I'm just going to let spirit talk through me today a lot. I am going to use cards. You know, I'm not a trained card reader, but I love them. And so I will use them as a jumping off point. Okay. So let's get going. Let's get started. Um, okay. I feel like there's going to be just a lot of messages, um, like that kind of rapid fire message thing coming through. And I feel like uh, spirit's got a lot to say today. So let's just get to it. All right, uh, let's start with, uh, right side up would help, Higher Self Oracle, Deanna Marie Riddick, okay? And uh, just a heads up too, if you are in the middle of doing a lot of spirit or energy work and you stay hungrier than normal or you're craving a particular food or type of food, that's perfectly normal. At least for me, it is. For me, in my world, it is. And because there's just been a whole lot of, energy and spirit work going on for me over the last 24 to, you know, almost 48 hours, I'd say about 24 hours, um, the, uh, intensely 24 hours. So I, I am just, I have eaten a ton today and I'm still hungry. I mean, like physically my stomach is growling hungry. And so, and I'm wanting sugars as well as real food. So I'm trying to keep that to like fruit sugars with like, I, put, I did put a couple of teaspoons of sugar on a bowl of cherries, uh, frozen cherries. They taste like popsicles when they're frozen. So yummy. Um, but anyway, so don't stress out about it. Just know that you are using a lot of energy when you are doing this. I heard battling the forces of darkness. <laughs> it was that kind of, it was that kind of thing. Yeah, and the one that flipped out over my thumb just now as I was talking is expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected, y'all. And uh, you know what? A lot of people, I am fortunate enough to be surrounded by very accepting people. Um, if you are not, or there are people who, even when they try to be understanding, you can tell they're sort of like, oh, what the fuck have I gotten myself into? And so, oh, I'm sorry, I used a really bad word. Uh, I tried not to do that on the channel, but it's, it's, y'all, please forgive me. It's just been that kind of day. This one will not be kid appropriate. <sighs> that gives you an idea. So, uh, it's been pretty intense. I haven't seen an, uh, an energy that's negative in a long time. Um, ooh, failure. Yeah, I had a potty mouth for a minute. Sorry, you all. It happens every now and then. Also, I still feel like there's more work I need to do with that energy, it's still around. It's it's a difficult one. Nature. Yes, I am going to get out in nature as soon as I finish this video and I'm gonna sit in the sun because it's finally shining today. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna finish off the last little bit of this work. Those I just dropped because that was like, you know, a quarter of the deck. All right, well, let's get into it for you guys. But the point is, if you are doing, if you are like eyeball deep into heavy spirit work, meditation work, energy work, whatever it is, you're, if you're learning new things, if you're getting downloads, you might be hungrier than normal because you're trying to fuel your body and keep uh, and get the body to keep up with the spirit work. So that's that's perfectly normal. All right, so let's do this. What is the message for the collective? Mother and Father God, please step into this reading for this wonderful, fantastic, beautiful collective that even bears with me when I have a potty mouth. Um, what is the message for the collective? Trust. That warms my heart. 
Trust what you're getting. Trust what you're knowing. Um, it's so easy to know. Yeah, I, I've got this. That's exactly what it is for someone else. But when it's around yourself or you're trying to sort things out and, and you're always questioning it, someone is really questioning. They can read for other people, even if they're not professionally a reader, but they can read for other people, but they can't read for themselves. Also very normal. Um, trust. Let go. Take the first step. This card always comes up with a stick. And then divine timing. You're going to get the answers you seek. Someone is looking for answers, and you are going to get the answers you seek. Ooh, very soon. I mean, I'm thinking less than... It, it's not going to take through the... It's not going to take another 24, 48 hours. I think m at the minimum... Or I mean at the maximum 24 hours. And it said take the one off the top. And the one off the top is balance. Okay. Uh, someone is coming into their own. Someone is coming into their own strength, their own wisdom, their own power. On the right path. One more. And love. So don't question it. Love of self, love of others, love of whatever. Um, love of spirit, love of path. I think it's the love of the path you're on. So, someone is questioning, seeking, looking for answers. You're going to get the information you need to make uh, an informed decision, a rational decision, but also don't compromise the heart nudge, the nudge of the heart and how you feel about something, okay? Because that is going to be spot on accurate. Um, for some of you, it will mean walking away. For some of you, it will, mean, it will mean walking toward even more closely. Whichever side of that you're on, there will be love. It will be love of yourself and another, or it will be love of yourself and preserving your own self. So what, help me out here. I need to, I need more clarity on the words to you, spirit, with that message for the collective. Don't be afraid to express who you are and what you feel and, and step into your own. When you do, your light is so bright it can't help but shine and other people need to see that. The more you try to dampen it, the more it looks like you're hiding something and all you're hiding is the brilliance of who you are and your light. Love yourself the way you want others to love you and the way you love others. You have so much to offer. I don't know who needs to hear this out there, but someone does. Okay. Uh, Mother and Father God. Right now I'm using the Light Sears Pocket Tarot. So Mother and Father God, Guardians and Guides, bring us onto the path of truth. Bring us onto the path of knowing. Guide us in every way. Guide us in all directions of time. Everything led us to the point where we are now. Show us the message for the collective. Help me to understand what I need to say to convey the message you have for the collective. Thank you. My word. Keep going? All right. Wow. These are coming out fast. Seriously. Holy moly. Okay. All right. And the one on the bottom, I said, pull that out. And this one, okay. All right, let me get the one on the floor. Oh, it's a happy card, yay. If I had to try to bend down there, it might as well be for a happy card, right? There we go, come on. Yeah, there we go. I actually do work out. You'd think I could bend up, but it's like that sideways bend. It's hard, you know? Um. Okay, 10 of pentacles. That's a happy card. All right, this one, the very first one. Ugh. Ugh. And then that one, and then this one. Oh, hey, it's good though. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. All right, because we had to start, we had to start low to move up high, okay? The lower you are, the higher you can go. Whew, yeah. But someone was starting out here. That is, that is never a good place to be. It's like uh, seduction, addiction, um, 
the seedier side of life, falling for a con person or, or being a con or, or tricking yourself into believing something. This is just the devil. Well, the devil's called the devil for a reason. You cannot put a good spin on the devil. The only way you can, you know, it, it leads you here. Brokenhearted, cocooned in the fetal position. It looks kind of like a nest. Waiting to reemerge and break out of that shell of depravity and sadness. So the only good thing that could come from those two cards is the Eight of Cups, which is choosing to walk away and walk into the light. Thank you very much. Oh, and I just felt like a whew, wave come over me of relief. Like, oh, that's finished, finally. So some of you made a very hard call or a very hard break or a very hard separation, whether that person is fully aware of it or they've already been gone and you've done it internally or you just had that conversation or you just blocked someone's number, whatever it is. Honey, you are going into the light. Good for you. That's where you'll find your peace. That's, that's what you're a part of. You're a part of that light. Whew. Whew. That's good. Good for you. All right. Then we go into the Three of Pentacles. So you're going into work mode. So you finally broke away from this toxic, and I mean toxic energy. You were swimming around in a toxic waste dump. Okay, a pool of toxic waste. So you got out, you walked away, you walked into the light, you're all refreshed and cleaned. Now it's time to get to work, okay? You are coming together with like-minded people. And those like-minded people are going to help you on your path to find your path on your way and into a new dawn and into a new way of life, okay? Um, I feel like this is community. This card in this instance for today's reading, this feels like to me it means community, all right? Now, at some point, you're going to have to deal with the fallout. And this is everything I'm hearing from Spirit. This is not me just do, doing whatever. I'm, I'm getting fed information because that's what I asked for and that's, that's what I do. This is a general reading. It's not going to fit for everyone. Keep that in mind. But if it resonates with you, just sink into it and listen to it unfold. And, and if nothing else, I feel like today's messages are about validating what you already know and where you are. Okay? We all need that. We all need it. Um, even though you're going to get away from toxicity, and I'm not showing those cards again. In fact, I'm putting them face down because they're finished and over. You are moving into your light. You are coming into like-minded group of people that are going to help you on your path. You're going to start uh, a new path of a new direction in this community, this new community. It could even involve a move of home, location, job, purpose, path. You may start a new direction in terms of nutrition classes. I feel like someone's taking a class on uh, some kind of uh, uh, different nutritional way of fueling your body. And then you'll end up teaching that. So it's a very holistic feeling. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to have to be a reader or do spirit work or energy work or any of that. It could just be going into uh, being like a naturopath or going into traditional nursing, but using your nursing background for um, holistic treatments or herbalism. Somebody's taking an herbalism course. Someone is, I can see someone getting jars and making tinctures. Uh, planting seeds and herbs uh, to create your your dried uh, herbal tea blends, things like that. And you may just do this for yourself and your loved ones. But point is, it's leading you to a new path that will also lead to a sense of wellness. Wellness, financially, spiritually, everything. You will be so happy with what you have. There's, okay, here's another thing. There's not going to be that clawing need to constantly, constantly, like uh, retail therapy, you're going to be so happy with what you have because you're fulfilled all the time. The other stuff's just going to drift by the wayside. So if anybody's been struggling with that a little bit, I like me some retail therapy, so I get it. Um, but you also don't want to deal with the fallout of then never getting ahead. So when you do what you love, you don't need to fill a void with things. 
or with those first two cards that we have face down, people. Danny, leave her alone right now. Hey, behave. Somebody was asleep. Somebody jumped up in someone's spot and startled them. Danny, I see you over there. Hey, 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 Danny. Mr. Bobani, stop it. Hold on. Let me make sure they're doing okay over there. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is this? Come on. Okay. So. They're fine. They were just giving each other the stink eye. Somebody got in somebody's uh, sleepy time turf on the couch anyway. Okay. <laughs> he went and got in another bed. <laughs> all right. Otherwise, they've been really quiet and sleepy today. All right. So even though you're doing all this work and it's great, at some point you're going to have to kind of like settle in and sink into yourself and decide, okay, I need to kind of come to grips with and re do a life review. You're doing the life review review while you're alive instead of when you cross over. So you're doing, and, and for a lot of people, I think that is a, a real thing. So um, <laughs> you're doing a life review of what led you to this point. You're going inward. And whereas when you first got away from those two negative cards and way of being, um, you were walking into the light. When you do the self-reflection, you are radiating the light. You're holding it within. Very different. Very different energy here. But a lovely energy. And then we end up with the wheel. The turn of the wheel. And look at those rays of light coming out from behind her. This is... The wheel is an interesting card. And, and I'm kind of ambivalent about how I feel about it because I don't think I fully understand it. I do know that in this instance, the wheel and the turning of the wheel means you have moved out of one phase of your life and you're moving into another phase of your life. And this new phase, this new turn of the wheel is one that you've manifested and you've created and one that you should be extremely proud of. It is good work you've done. You've done such solid good work on yourself and cleaning up your environment and your, your circle of community and friends. So you need to be happy with yourselves. I'm just telling you now. It's a general reading. You can do what you want. You can, you can be miserable. You can be happy. But what I'm telling you is I feel like I feel like you need to be really proud of yourself if this is your read. Okay? All right. And I was just shuffling these so we break the energy up. All right, so I wasn't asking for anything with that. Now, I feel like we need to do one more from the Higher Self Oracle. And it's um, because I feel like this is the first part was more, yeah, be careful not to step into fear. That was yesterday's video. Love over fear wins, nature on the other side. So if you are in a place where you can get out, um, it would be a really good idea to ground and release anything that doesn't serve you. Ask Mother Nature, ask the nature energies to release and with and draw from you all fear so that you can be healthy happy and if you need to pause to do that in your day that's great yeah and look at this help is on the way ask for divinity to help you in whatever it is that you need mother nature Gaia help you and to draw all those energies out of you and the impurities out of the physical self and the um, and transmute them into something helpful for the environment because she can she's that powerful and then for your spiritual needs emotional needs ask for your spirit guides and guardians to step in help is always with you um, and then perspective it will change your perspective I feel like someone is coming into yeah and then transformation so I feel like someone is coming into an awakening, a new dawn, the place within themselves where they no longer seek validation or uh, acceptance of others because they have it within themselves. 
I feel like you guys are in, the, whomever this is for, it, you're in a good spot. And I think my microphone just died on me, which is another weird thing because I just charged it. So I really hope that you guys can hear me. Huh, let me turn it back on. Yeah. And it just turned it back on. The battery wasn't dead. I'm telling you, I still have some spirit work I gotta attend to. Okay. One last card, and then I'm gonna go do that so I can get on with my day. And I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate that. Okay. All right, that was pointless. I, I just need to know I can't shuffle these that way. All right, but I love this deck so much. This is the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Let's get a card to... No. Let's get... Is it just the one? No, that one. And that one, clearly. All right, so we have three animal allies interesting i was looking at a lot of bees bees have been coming up a lot around me lately normally they don't and i've always loved hummingbirds this one a puffin i have never worked with before but let's take them in order so for either all for it could all of these could be for the same group or individual or they could be for three separate groups but take whatever resonates with you or if you have your own deck and you want to pull for yourself that's great all right, so the first card that came out with our animal allies, Hummingbird, Miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. I love that so much. Hummingbirds are miraculous. Hummingbirds and bumblebees are both miraculous in that hummingbirds are the only flying being that can hover in space because they can flutter their wings so fast. Uh, I'm being told to also tell people, yes, they do like nectar or sugar water, but avoid the red dye. Okay. The next one, B, and community. What were we just talking about? Community. And the thing about bees that are so cool is that, and Joan Rivers pointed this out, she has a whole line of like bee pins and, and things because, and there's a whole story behind it that you can look up if you want. Um, great, great story. Um, but anyway, especially a bumblebee or a, you know, yeah, just those, those big bodies and short wings and there's absolutely no way aerodynamically or just if somebody that they should be able to fly but they do if someone designed a plane like that it would never get off the ground so it's just one of those cool things all right so be and community you are a powerful creator your work blesses everything you touch be open to receiving sweetness you are the queen of abundance well all righty then i'll take it i will take that for me you all can take it too if you want all right, and then we got Puffin, partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So this is the second time ask for help has come up and how many times has community come up? Puffin, hmm. interesting, fascinating birds too. All right, that is it for today, you all. Thank you so much. I'm sorry this is so late, but a lot of you will see this at various different times of the day, evening, night, whenever. Um, the mug I had earlier today, it was one that um, just said believe. And that's important. Believe in yourself and believe in possibilities, and believe in hope. All right, everybody, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, tomorrow is Sunday, so I am going to regroup and probably cut the grass. <laughs> and that wipes me out. So um, anyway, 
Have a good day. And we'll talk soon. We're going to talk sooner than we thought because my little clicker's not working.